Hey guys, what's up? James or Wizite here and welcome back to another Destiny video. In this video, I'll be talking about my wish list and all of the items I'm hoping to get in Destiny. Now, some of you guys will probably say, why do I want these items? As one or two of them are slightly old items, but the items are still absolutely worth having in Destiny. Now, as I'm doing my wish list, I'd love to hear your wish list. So feel free to let me know in the comments which items you're hoping to get within Destiny and why. Also, feel free to give me your opinion on the items I list in this video and let me know if they're good or not. So with that being said, let's get into my first item that I've been trying to get for quite a while, which most of you guys are aware of, and it's this little beauty here. The Praetis timepiece from the Vault of Glass Raid. So recently, with the House of Walls being here, I haven't actually run the Vault of Glass, which means... I'm not closer to getting it than I was before the DLC dropped. So I need to get back into grinding the Vault of Glass. So if any of you guys would like to run the Vault of Glass with me, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, as I'll be posting on those pages when I need people to run it with me. Next, we're going to move on to an armor piece, which is the Peregrine Greaves. Now, there isn't much to it with this item. I just want them purely because they will complete my Titan exotic collection. And I have every exotic for the Titan class. And they seem pretty fun to use. And once I do get them, and once I've Drop maxed that. them out, I have a few videos planned that I'd love to do for you guys. The next is a weapon I hear is very good for Crucible. And I use this weapon type a lot. It's the Matador 64 shotgun. I think it's important to have a good balance between long range and close range weapon loadout. So I like to use hand cannon, scout rifles and pulse rifles, which are good at medium to long range. So having a shotgun is good for that close quarter combat that we encounter all the time. And I haven't used or seen footage of the Matador 64. So do let me know in the comments if it's a good one or not. Then we move back onto an exotic item, the Queen Breaker's Bow. Now, I actually recently just got a new Elder Cipher, so I'm working towards getting this little beauty. Now, a few friends have it, and they say it's a really good and fun weapon to use. However, it does take some practice of getting used to. Then I would love to get the Jewel of Osiris Adept version, which is the Solar Burn, which is, you know, one of my favorite types of weapons and like I said previously I love to use hand cannon scout rifles and pulse rifles for crucible and vanguard activity now as I already have the fate bringer which is an arc hand cannon and the word of crota which is a void hand cannon I'm missing a solar hand cannon so I'm aiming to pick this little baby up ASAP Next is Ash Factory, a rocket launcher, which I think is only obtainable from playing the Crucible like the Matador 64. Now with this lime green cosmetic look, you really stand out when using this weapon. And in all true honesty, it's a pretty good rocket launcher as well. Next up is another rocket launcher, but a yellow one this time from the Trials of Osiris, Tomorrow's Answer. This too is a pretty good rocket launcher and is effective in certain situations and especially in the crucible now guys the last two items in this wish list are items that i'd love to get but also items that i'd love to get more information on them because not much is known about them i'm going to talk about these two last items together now there are two exotic scout rifles thought to be in destiny somewhere fate of all fools and the 347 Vesta Dynasty. Now, I'm not going to say much about these items other than they are both in-game or one day going to be in-game. Then, I'd love to get both of them because I love using scout rifles. Now, as of now, we only know of one Fate of All Fools in the game, which was given to a fan who underwent some brain surgery that he was rewarded with from Bungie. So, we know there is one out there and we know it's going to be coming to Destiny. We just don't know when. Now, the 347 Vesta Dynasty, however, there's a lot of different thoughts around it. And as the name is very similar to the Vestian Dynasty from the Queen... And it also has the same description. There's a lot of speculation. Not too many people are convinced that it's coming into the game. So on and so forth. So that's my wish list, guys. Some will come sooner. Some will come later. But do let me know in the comments the items that you're hoping for within Destiny. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more Destiny content right here on my channel. I've been James Wizai. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.